Building. Good. Start building from Elko, Nevada. And build all the way to Promontory, Utah, the end of the line. That's 240 miles away. Let's see how much money we have. $3,840,000. Not bad at all. Let's get building. Elko to Promontory. Your mission? Make it through the desert alive. The desert, home of snakes, scorpions, and sand. Or is it all mirage? You show me a place that gets less than 10 inches of rain a year, and I'll show you a desert. Not all deserts are hot, you know. Cold deserts, which are so icy that they never get any rain, cover a sixth of the Earth's surface. Hot deserts like this one cover a fifth. You can see some funny looking rocks around here. The wind blows the sand at them so hard, they change shape. It usually rains less than 10 inches per year in the desert, and that's what keeps the plant life down to a minimum. With few plants around to grab onto the earth with their roots, the wind blows the sand into large dunes like these. You'll meet a Shoshone scout who knows no English. Do you want to hire him? He can help us through this region, but we'll have to use sign language to communicate with him. Sarah can help. Click on her camera. Here's a bit of sign language to help you out. The Shoshone hunt and gather in the summer and camp out by water holes during the dry winters. In the spring and fall, the family groups get together for religious ceremonies.
Dry lake rushes grow. Dry lake bed. A flash flood in the Pilot Peak. Pilot Peak is the last place to stock up on water for 90 miles. You need 800 gallons of water per mile. How much does that come out to anyway? Now let's see. 90 miles and 800 gallons of water per mile. By my figuring, that's 72,000 gallons of water. My maths are rusty, but uh, I reckon 90 miles and 800 gallons per mile is just about 7,200 gallons. Well, you carry the seven plus the... Hmm, okay, 90 miles... Good choice. You brought just enough water for your men. That water will come in handy in that desert. I had a dream once that one day there'll be a machine that can do math even faster than I can. <laughs> no, that's impossible. Warning! There are no lakes or streams ahead, so plan carefully. I've scouted from here to the Great Salt Lake, and I saw... ...place out there where the water was just shimmering in the sand. Track laying in the desert is good in some ways, bad in others. The land's flat, so there's no blasting to do. But water for the men and steam engines is hard to come by. Watch now. Here's the place where Wild Bill has seen water. Use picture writing to talk to them. Here are some pictograms I've seen the tribes use. Some of them are thousands of years old. Draw an X on the ground, and that'll show them we mean business. We draw some flowers on the ground. That's the sign for something that'll make this situation better. You draw a square without the bottom line, and that'll get us where we want to go. Here are some pictograms I've seen the tribes use. Some of them are thousands of years old. The Shoshone agree to trade. You build peacefully through the region, and it only costs you $10,000. Trading's the best way. You win over a man's wallet, and his head will follow. Terrace. Terrace is the biggest little city between here and Promontory. You stock up on water and save $100,000. The town of nearly 1,000 people has got a roundhouse, a machine shop, and all sorts of businesses. It also has plenty of water. Plans are brewing in Terrace for an eight-track switchyard, along with hotels, a saloon, Justice of the Peace, and a library bathhouse. Just think, you'll... water that is all around here there's old bleached bones of dead cows and horses who died from heat and exhaustion feels more like a graveyard than a lake bed these salt flats have high winds and no water except in the winter I tasted a bit of that white rock and it's salt all right tons and tons of salt now, if we get ourselves about a million stakes to go with it, we got ourselves.
Promontory, Utah. Make it to Promontory and a promontory like this one is a big piece of land overlooking or projecting into a lowland. Here it is, our final destination. Promontory, Utah. Congratulations! You've made it all the way to the end. Ah! This job plum riles me! What's a root beer? Sounds healthy. Well, anyway, Charles L. Another suspect has been spotted. We want to identify the master. Question him, and we're done. And we're done. <laughs> Geronimo is somewhere in this Native American village. Your mission is to find him and bring him in for questioning. Don't treat him harshly, though. I don't think he's sabotaging our railroad, but he may have information that will help us solve the mystery of the Golden Spike. The Chief! He says Geronimo is hiding in one of the teepees. Talk to the Braves in front of the teepees, and they'll let you know where he is. Beware, the braves with the feathers on their backs are from a secret warrior society. They speak, he says, go west. Go north. He says, go west. Go east. He says Geronimo's not in here. He says Geronimo's not in here. Outlaw, wait. Geronimo, come out of there. <laughs> he ran to another teepee. Let's find him. He says go west. Go north. He says, go west. Go north. He says, Geronimo's in here. Outlaw, where? Geronimo, come out of there. All right, Geronimo. You may be innocent, but we're taking you in. Welcome back. Two. Let's see if being polite works. I've heard that the Apaches are an honest people. So honestly, who's trying to destroy the railroad? Bell Star told me he can work a telegraph. A dodgy clue. Useless. Where? Polite. Mr. Geronimo, let's make this easy on ourselves. Where does the Mastermind live? Though I have never visited there myself, I have heard he lives in a city with a famous bell. A true clue. I'll record it in the journal. What? Let's see if being polite works. Let's keep things simple. What does the Mastermind look like? If he is anything like an Apache brave, he plucks his beard out. Dodgy. I hate those. I'll record it anyway. Cow! Let's see if being polite works. Mr. Geronimo, I'd be grateful if you'd tell me how the Mastermind makes a living. Like all people from the East, he works with firearms. That is my guess. Not true. I'll record it in the journal. There they sit. It's like a flea Andrew Carnegie. What clues? Who clues? Where clues? How clues? I'm fired up, cow! Cow. 
cow. Loco. How do you make Jesse James's eyes twinkle? Shine a candle in his ear. <laughs> Are you calling me empty-headed, brainless, not very bright? You expect me to answer you? Dang, we need a clue. Cow. Loco. How do you bow to a big green cow? Start making sense. You're making me tense. Not talking, huh? Cow. Loco question. It'll drive them nuts. How can we catch a mastermind standing on one foot, Mr. Kid? Unique up on him. Get it? Drats. Not a clue. Cow. Cow. A question that's tough as nails. Listen up, James. Tell me how your boss makes a living, or you'll be making a living cracking rocks on the side of a wagon road. Ah, get over yourself. Not talking, huh? Cow. 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 Polite. Please, Mr. Kid, tell me, how did the mastermind earn enough money to hire such an illustrious outlaw as yourself? I don't ask my employers questions. I just take their money. You shouldn't ask so many questions either. Hmm, that's not a clue. The suspects. They're innocent and Andrew Carn- How clues? Let me at them. Cow. Let's be tough as nails and see if that works. Black Bart, on thin ice, you're about to skate. How does your boss earn a living of late? I don't know and I don't care. You're worse than itchy underwear. Hmm, that's not a clue. Cow. Cow. Let's see if being polite works. Miss Star, I'm sure you can answer this one. How do you suppose a mastermind like your boss makes a living? Do I look like an encyclopedia? You'd have to ask him. Not talking, huh? I wonder who Andrew Cart How clues? Let me at him. Cow. Loco question. It'll drive them nuts. How mean are you anyway, Harden? I'm meaner than my boss, the tightwad. He never gives his money away. Least of all to me. False. Hm, what a useful liar. I'll mark it in the journal. The suspect. Andrew Carnegie. How clues? Guilty. You did it. Andrew Carnegie is the mastermind. Mastermind, surrender that golden spike. The golden spike mystery is solved. We got him. The golden spike. Victory is ours. Jack, we did it. All ready now. It's time to drive the final spike. The telegraph signal sent round the world will be three dots for the commencement of the blows. One. Two. Three. The golden spike ceremony. The country is united. We're right on track for future glory.